my video so today we are, I'm gonna be showing you how to download the Nitro Macro for this game based on simulator. Uh, this is kind of an updated video going over some more stuff. Um so yeah. Uh and remember no macro is perfect. These these are robots and please be kind to the creators of this game. Don't yell at them because your macro isn't working. I mean, I don't know I doubt anyone would do that really. But just just I'm just saying. So, anyways, basically, um, what you want to do is join this server right here. But, before you do that, like, you want to go to, um, autohotkey.com, and this will pop up here. Alright, guys? Now, you'll click download, and you'll do download version 2.0. So, now, we'll download this. Now, oh, let me get my files over here. <laughs> you have it open on a second here. Anyways, uh, you want to go to where you downloaded it, and then you want to click on this. Got it three times. Do you want to install it to a certain device so it will be forever? And then, oh, yeah. Choose it where you want. Uh, apparently it might not work correctly. Alright. The... This is annoying. Anyways, just download that to where you want to because I already have auto hotkey downloaded. But basically, once you've done that, you are done with this. You can close it. Also, the link to this and everything else you need will be in the description below. So basically, then you want to go to this Discord server here. Again, the link to it will be in the description below. I thought I marked these two. Oh, you guys, I get sidetracked sometimes. Damn bot like messaged me, so then I opened up the servers, to, which is what they it sent me, to kind of see what it looked like. I don't know. I like seeing what scams look like. I don't know why. Anyways, basically, you want to click on this right here, because that will download it. It will say potential dangerous download here. That's just because Discord is Discord, and it wants you to be safe. But you don't have to worry about it, because it's very safe. I use it all the time. Now, uh, you can go to wherever you want, or whatever. I don't know. But, <laughs> I like doing this on my desktop, so I'll move this to here. And now you'll want to extract this, because it's a zip file, because that's the only way to send multiple files in Discord. Actually, I think the only way to send files at all. So yeah, it'll, it'll extract it out here. It'll just take a tiny bit, because you have to extract it. So... Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh. Anyways, once it's extracted, I'm just gonna delete this zip file. I like to have it like right in the middle of my desktop here. And then, oh, sorry, I like. So also, hold on, one sec. Let me close OBS real quick. I also. You guys can do this, but I like, I have like a second monitor too, so, if I just, you're right, let me just switch this over to my second monitor here. Uh, I like to just move it and put it here too, but, yeah, I don't know. That's your, uh, preference, I suppose. Anyways, here's the nature macro, um, and... I'll go over some of the stuff, what the what it means, and basically how you have it set up. So you see here as field rotation, there's these three. You can have it rotate between fields or just have one field. I like to just do one field. Hepa. I like to have field drift compensation on, where it'll try to fix it if it drifts, drifts off the field. I don't know, I don't actually really fully understand it. Anyways, I like to have E wall shape, medium length, uh, width of two, gather with shift lock on. Basically, this will just allow it to have shift lock. The shape uh, is basically what shape. You can test out other different shapes. Uh, length is how long it is. Width is how wide it is. Then, until. Minutes here, I like to do 20. That's how many minutes. Or, if your pack reaches the pack percent, which I like to have at 100, that means it will go back to your hive, come to a pond, do whatever. Anyways. So, sprinkler. You can have it place your sprinkler wherever you want. I like to do center and then distance one. I don't understand the distancing, I'm gonna be honest, so I just do distance one. So 
So now we have the collect slash kill tab. You, you can have it collect stuff, you can have it kill stuff. Pretty self-explanatory. I like to have collect uh, clock on and then have these dispensers on. Um, and all the dispensers look coconut because, I don't know, I just don't want it to connect. I guess I might as well have it collect the coconut dispenser. Um, and then I just do the stuff except for the gingerbread house because I like to have my gingerbread bears pile up. And the gummy beacon because that's not out yet. And then you can have it. You can allow it to in interrupt your gathering. So like, let's say it collects my stockings. Uh, the half an hour later, if I'm in the middle of gathering, if I have gather interrupt on, it can just stop gathering, and go over and collect the stockings. Or you can just have that not because I like having. It. Anyways, you can do bug runs. Uh, you can kill and loot these things. I don't really care. And if you want snowflakes, I'd recommend doing everything here except for snowflakes, or scorpions and uh, ladybugs, because those do not drop snowflakes, just a little tip. Uh, I'm going to allow gather interrupt, apply hive bonus, and then I'm gonna just going to have a huge gathering of boxes. I have good level bees, and I generally don't have much server lag. And then baby love, that's just having baby love. And then this is using stingers, and here's like allowing certain fields for it to use stingers in. So now we have boosts, you can have it boost, uh, you can have it use stuff in your hotbar slots, you can have it use HQ field boosters, pretty self-explanatory. Quest, here you can see it has quests, it, these are all repeatable quests, Ron Bear isn't added yet, and yeah, so it can just have you, it can just do any of these quests for you, and they say unknown, but that's because it doesn't know what your quest is. If you turn it on, and you go into the game, you turn on the macro, it'll go to your quest, and be like, oh, this is it, and then it'll have it here. Planters Plus, is it just planters? I would show you how to use it, but I don't actually know because I've never used it before. I should probably turn it on. I'll actually do this. So, basically, um, let me just get rid of all these. Let me just restart this. Presets. Uh, custom. Let's do red. Because I'm a red hive. Oh, that's just... Okay, so that's presets for what hive we should be. I am not going to have any nectar priority. Then, how many max planners it can use at a time? Harvest every two hours. I'll just have it do full grown. And then, only gather in planter field, so that means gather where your planters are, or gather field nectar sipping, which means have your bees get the nectar from the planters while you're gathering in the field. <laughs> uh, it's kind of, it can be kind of confusing. Anyways, odd planters, I'm just going to do red clay, blue clay, tacky, pe uh, and pesticide. Because those are the planters I generally use. You can do whatever planters you want. I don't have heat treated uh, to planter plenty. I don't have any of these. Uh, and then I don't use paper to get planters. Now, now these are where you, you the planters can be reused. So I'll do dandelion, sunflower, mushroom, flower, spider, strawberry, bamboo, um, not pineapple, stump, not cactus, not pumpkin, pine tree, rose, and yeah, so this is, I generally just do this anyways, but the macro can do it for me, so I'll have it do it for me. Uh, and then it shows you these timers. I don't really use timers, but I don't really care. Um, and yeah, you can have this to whatever you want, but this is just what I am now deciding I like having it as. So yeah, sorry that took so long, guys. I was figuring it out. Um, actually, I'm also, sorry, I'm going to change my screen to text. So, yeah. Anyways, now, status. You can see here, there's this, this, so you don't really need to care about any of this. You can look at the stats and stuff, I guess. But, an easier way is to enable Discord webhook. Now, if you have Discord, which you probably do, especially since you need to do this Discord server, or have your friend do this Discord server, then... You can, you can just make a Discord server for free. You can set up these webhooks, and this is what it looks like. And it will tell you what's happening. It'll give you pictures. 
uh, sometimes, and then it'll give you like hourly statistics. Let me find one. Here, hourly stats, blah, 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 blah. It'll tell you how much honey you made, how much better the honey is. Basically, how you want to do this is, oh wait, no. You want to go to the server you want to do this, and I do Zucario BSS, Nitro Status, Nitro Status. You want to edit the channel, integrations, view webhooks, and then you want to do new webhook or whatever, change the name to whatever you want, do the channel, and then copy the webhook URL. I already have this one set up, so yeah. Now, you just paste that in, and then you can turn on screenshots too, and then you can do your user ID for pings. But I don't really like getting pings. All right, settings. You can change the theme here. I like having it as, where is it? Cosmo. I like Cosmo, but yeah. You can just easily change it. Oh, there you go. It just did. Uh, anyways, um, you can change how transparent the GUI is. Um, always on top. I don't actually know what that means. Hive settings, so what hive slot you'll be at. I'll be at number one. How many bees your hive has. I actually got a 47 hive slot recently, so mine has 47 bees, so you can do whatever you want. And then private servers. So if you have a private server, you can um, get yourself a link here. And you can paste it. And reconnect every blank hours. You don't have to do this. And then starting at blank UTC. So that's just having it, uh, again, that's just having it reconnect, and it's in UTC time, because that's what time on is in. Right, movement speed. Okay, so now, oh, whoopsies, didn't mean to click on that. Now we're starting to get into the game. So yeah, I already loaded up the game here. <laughs> so basically, what this movement speed thing means is you go into system here, and then you want to go under character stats and find move speed there. So mine is 30, so I will put in 30, because... It will completely mess up uh, your movement. Uh, cannon, how you want to move. So you can either walk or use the cannon. Turbo type supreme. I have the supreme saturator, but you might have a different one or no sprinkler at all. Then you can have it automatically convert your balloon or every 30 minutes or whatever you want. You can have it reset multiple times every. Uh, disable tool use, announce guiding star, blah, 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 blah. Uh, tab, key to lay at zero. And that's it. These are the contributors, and those are the cool people. And also, Nature Macro is very safe. I have literally had it for like two and a half months, probably now. And my computer is perfectly fine. You can, you can see this. You can tell. You, my, look at this. My, my game runs fine. Flawlessly, well, not flawlessly, because you can never have a flawless game. But that—that's not the point. Uh, so yeah, I—I I had like a couple level twelve bees, mostly a level eleven hive when I first started in macroing. Now I have full level fourteen hive, a bunch of level fifteen bees. I have like, I have gummy boots, which I got recently. Uh, I've been working on trying to get a scorched star sauce start. SSA, but it's a stupid idea because it wastes a lot of honey. Uh, and yeah, I've just been getting more honey in general and doing a lot better in the game. So the macro, a macro, if you need a reason to get the macro, a macro is literally you play is literally like if you were to play for however long it runs for, but you're constantly at your best performance the whole time, which is just obviously not possible. So yeah. Anyways, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. Bye. And as always, peace out. See you next video. I am.